The Bear County Sheriff's Office says the female inmate who died at the jail last night had a medical episode possibly triggered by drug withdrawal symptoms. The Sheriff's Office says 48 year old Roxanne Otero was found unresponsive in her cell just before six last night. Paramedics tried to save her, but it was too late. Otero was booked into the jail earlier this week on a controlled substance charge. She is the sixth inmate to die in the county jail since mid August. In many of those cases, the Sheriff's Office cited medical episodes as being the possible cause of death. So could anything have been done to prevent these deaths? Turns out Bear County does have plans to beef up mental health services. News 4 San Antonio's Ethan Trejo shows us a new recovery center coming to the south side. That building is going to be going up right here on the south side, just along Apple White Road. Now it is flat land right now, but we're being told this is going to be a 130 bed facility made specifically to support people in desperate need. If we can add more services for the community for this just as involved population, that'd be vital for us. This facility will add on to the existing 240 bed Apple White Recovery Center, which deals with nonviolent offenders with drug or alcohol issues who are currently on probation. Bear County Community Supervision and Corrections Department Director Jarvis Anderson says this facility is a reinvestment into the community. This population is just involved. Usually don't have insurance or it's low insurance. You have a chance to get quality treatment for 120 to 180 days. And if you want to come back for a relapse track, we have that available. It doesn't cost them anything because right, it's part of our budgeting structure. Six Bear County jail inmates have passed away since late July, including the most recent death of Roxanne Otero, who may have died from drug withdrawal symptoms. County Commissioner Rebecca Clay Flores was asked about the deaths, and while she was unable to comment about the investigations, she did say that facilities like this are important for getting people who don't need to be in jail out. So instead of people rotting in jail who don't necessarily need to be there because of mental health issues or because of drug addiction, they can come to a place like this. So they can truly be rehabilitated and become successful members of our community and become civically engaged. This facility will help to alleviate some of the overcrowding from Bear County Jail. Each patient that is brought into this facility's care will be treated individually. Each individual will also experience multiple follow-up sessions to ensure that each patient has the proper tools for a full recovery. Is it easy to be in an environment for 120, 100 days and not use drugs and alcohol? What happens when you go back to your own environment? So that's the skill set we're trying to build. Ethan Trejo, News 4. San Antonio. That new recovery center is set to open sometime in 2026. Thanks for watching. For more videos from News 4 San Antonio, make sure you like and subscribe.